Hello everybody. Hopefully my microphone works this time. I'm having some breakfast. I woke up pretty late. I only managed to sleep for about five hours. Don't know what's going on going on with me. I have this spring. Why is it so satisfying? <laughs> uh, we're gonna eat some cereal and then we'll figure out what to do today. It's raining pretty hard again. So uh Who knows what we'll do? Who knows? Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I had a nice shower. The, the rain's finally stopped. So we're going out. Me and the Jazz. He's been waiting all day for this. So we can finally give him what he wants. He's been asking to go out all day. I always feel bad like keeping you inside, but he has to understand that it's miserable to walk in the rain. And I can't film it. <laughs> so. He just needs to understand that. I think he gets it. He was napping with me until about 2 p.m. when I finally got out of bed. Yeah, I only slept five and a half hours last night. I just could not fall asleep. Strange, like I, I was dozing, and then when I wake up, I felt like I'd already had a full night's sleep. So I'm clearly like not getting deep enough sleep for it to be real, but I feel fine. I feel okay. You guys notice any, any bags under my eyes or do I look normal? I feel okay. I mean, at the end of yesterday's video, I looked tired, but I feel fine now. It's just strange. I just know that five hours is not enough sleep for me. I need, I need, to, I need to try and get eight. Seven and a half, eight is, is quite perfect for me. I think because the sun hasn't been out in a long time, days and nights are kind of blending together, and I don't really know what's going on anymore. I wanted to come down by this river again just to see how heavy it is because it just rained. There is another spot I could have gone to, but it's probably raining up there. It's closer to the mountains, so. Yeah, wow. This river's in full force right now. That's a lot of water. Whoa. Damn. There's an old wall here. <laughs> be a great day for canoeing. I actually have a canoe, but I haven't used it yet. My dad got it for free, and we just haven't used it. Today will be a perfect day to canoe down the river. <laughs> this is my, uh, my agenda for today. I'm going to package all of the crystal orders that came in a couple days ago, so that everything can go out on Monday. And uh, that's it, I'm giving myself one task because if I do more than one, I'm gonna get overwhelmed. Oh yeah! Okay, so something I was working on last night that I didn't talk to you guys about yet. Hang on, where's the path gone? Is that the path? What the heck? This, this wasn't here. I believe that tree is freshly fallen. Oh wait, I'm on the wrong path. The path's over there. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so something I was working on last night with uh, Katie, we have reorganized the join button, which is down below, right next to the subscribe button. What it is is basically like, um, it's like Patreon. It's, it's just like a subscription service where you throw money at me every every month and you get a little badge next to your name. So there's like different colored mushroom badges. They're the same badges as, as the Twitch ones. So the longer you're subbed, uh, the longer you're joined, uh, the different colors change. I don't know. It basically makes you stand out in the comments down below. I've had a few people join for a, a while and I didn't even realize because I, I set it up a couple years ago as an experiment and then forgot about it. So now that I've actually organized it all, there are perks for joining. So if you click on the button down below that says join, uh, it, it'll explain everything, everything there, but you get 20% discount off anything on my store. Yeah, just pressing the join button will probably save you money if you ever decide to buy anything. If we reach 30 joiners, then I'll do a live stream every every week uh, on the YouTube channel just for members. It'll be like a private live stream where I'll just be talking to you guys. It won't be a gaming live stream, it'll be like an IRL. Or we can do like a walking around IRL one. So I can either sit in my office and talk to you guys or I can bring you out here and do a live stream in nature. It's whatever you guys want. But we have to reach 30 joiners before I do that. So just so it's worth my time. Yeah, I don't want to be live streaming to no one, so if you're interested in supporting me in another way, we've set that up. Basically, all, all the join money just gets added onto my AdSense check every month, which is really cool. I, did, I didn't really realize this feature was a thing. 
I knew it was a thing, but I didn't understand like how easy it was to set up. I hadn't really invested the time, so yeah. If anyone out there has like five bucks a month that they is burning a hole in their pocket and they want to throw it at me to help me build the dream that I'm trying to build, I'm trying to move out and then buy land and then build a house on it. So if you want to help support the dream, get in early, start building up that little mushroom badge um, and then get exclusive live streams from me, then yeah, consider pressing the join button. I wanted to put this at the beginning of the video just so that um, everyone knows it exists and uh, yeah, see how it goes. And again, if you don't want to throw money at me, just liking the video, leaving a comment, that does wonders. So yeah, thanks guys. I'm really on the grind. Um, I'm trying to utilize every everything I have. The only thing I'm not using right now is my main channel and TikTok. I haven't really posted a TikTok in a while. The main channel, like, it just takes a lot of production. It takes a lot of effort to make a main channel video. I want them to be good because they bring in the most views and like, if they suck, then the views for the whole channel just plummet. I mean, they're already low, so it's just, just demoralizing. <laughs> she was funny. All right, let's go check out this river, Jess. I've been thinking about making a uh, community video, so not today, not tomorrow. Like in a couple of days, I'll do it. I want to get a bunch of people trying out a barefooting challenge. So every time you're in nature, you gotta be barefoot for a whole week. I wanna see if people can do seven days of it. Just so you can get an idea of what I go through every day and to see the benefits, see if it does anything in a week. Yeah, the community video will be like, I'll have you guys submit clips and make a whole sort of montage of like the community just being barefoot in nature. I think it'd be cool because it'll show loads of different countries where you guys are from and what kind of nature you have. I think it'd be a, a nice little video, but we're not gonna do that now. I'll talk about it again in a couple of days when, when I have a couple of days, yes. Cause then that'll, that'll give me a chance to take a day off vlogging and have you guys like make something. Okay, yeah, I'll talk about it in a couple of days. It doesn't matter, that, that's the idea. So just get ready for that. We'll, um, yeah, we'll set a week aside and, and do it. What's happened here? Um, yeah, someone blew something up. The, the campfire is there. How did that happen? That was not here a couple of days ago. You guys saw the vlog from a couple of days ago. That was not here. This was. Yeah. How did they do that? It's strange because there's not really any ashes. It's just black smoke. What did they burn? I lost the jazz. What's he up to? So much water. Really cool. I'm just sitting here on the wall listening to the, the water. Jas would come all the way over here to see, to see me. <laughs> I just want to float down the river. Jasper was just smiling at me. <laughs> nice spot, but it's just making me want more. I want bigger trees, deeper forests, larger rivers. I don't know why it's so difficult just to be satisfied with, with what I have right now. Why is that so hard? I think I've spoken about this before. This feeling you get after you've done a lot of traveling but you've seen some of the most beautiful places in the world. There's this, I don't know, dissatisfaction with what's around you then, because you know what's what, what exists. And I haven't even seen the best stuff yet. I haven't seen the Amazon jungle. 
I haven't seen India. Like, I know when I go to these places, I'm going to get hooked. I want to stay there for years, so I'm deliberately avoiding them because I don't, I don't want to think about them all the time. Like, this is what I have right now. <laughs> Why am I so dissatisfied? <laughs> it's, it's quite annoying. I'm just bothering my, myself because I know, I know I can't be everywhere all at the same time. I just, I'm here right now. Well, this is all I got. I just gotta enjoy it. We basically have 50 to 100% rain for the next foreseeable future. That's just the way of Wales. It's gonna be hard to make vlogs in all that rain, but I'll do my best. I'm trying to soak in as much oxygen as I can so that when I go home and work, I don't feel that I need to go outside. I, I can just concentrate. Like the packaging is gonna take me about five to 10 hours, so. I hope I can get it all done today. And I, want, I don't want to stay up too late doing it either. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited. It's, it's been a while since I've packaged stuff, I've said that before. And I, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good sending my stuff out into the world. Feels good. I wonder if Jeff Bezos gets this feeling. Probably not, because he doesn't actually make any of his products. He literally doesn't make any of it. So does he get that feeling? Maybe he just gets high off of the bank account number. What would happen if he just deleted all those numbers from his account? How would he feel that day waking up, just looking at his bank account like, it's all gone. None of it was real. I wonder what that would do to him. Okay, I'll ask you guys the question. So what, what would you do if all of a sudden your bank account was just completely emptied? What do you do then? Would you feel like distressed? Would you feel sad? Or would you be at peace knowing that none of this matters. Nothing is real. It's all just a game. Numbers are just numbers. <laughs> How do you feel? Like personally, I wouldn't really care. I've had zeros in my account for most of my life. I, I wouldn't care. I, I would just go on living how I'm always living. Obviously finding food, I'd find food in different ways, but I'd probably just go work. Just immediately go find a job. Just keep on going, like, it wouldn't really affect me, I don't think. But then if I had, like, hundreds of thousands in the account, then maybe that would affect me. I don't know. Maybe not. Your reaction would be based on how much effort you put into getting those numbers there in the first place, I guess. But yeah, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know, just hypothetically, what would you feel if your account was completely depleted right now? Interested to see the uh, comments there. So I tried, I tried to print everything out all in one go and then the printer ran out of ink. So I had to plug in my printer and try and I, now, I've now made my job really difficult because I have to count, I have to go through all these and find out which ones didn't print. I'll figure it out and then I'll speak to you. Hey vlog, you wanna hear something crazy? I spent two hours sitting at my computer trying to get my printer to connect. Couldn't make it work. So I used the printer that's already in the house I'm printing all my stuff, but it's just frustrating because it's my printer. Like, I want my printer to work. Anyway, uh, I don't know why it took me two hours. I also had a phone call with, with uh, Poppy. It's very nice to hear from her. Um, she had a lot to say. <laughs> and now I'm just counting inventory because I'm, I'm worried that I may have <laughs> oversold some stuff. I don't think I have, but I'm just going to double count. And I also printed... Look how many, look how many orders I got packaged. I got to package all this tonight and then edit the vlog. Like. Bruh, thank you. I can't complain. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to do in one night. Um, I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world if I pushed over to, to two days of work, but I don't want two days of vlog to be me just packaging things, so I'm gonna try and get it all done today. I'll probably watch Adventure Time. Got some more over here. Man, this is very exciting for me. Hey, necklaces are great. I just want to move on to bigger things, you know? <laughs> okay, I made a mistake. Well, I mean, it's an honest mistake, but basically 
I was worried that I'd oversold the crystals because I didn't do a second count. I just went off a note that I left to myself six months ago. Like a post it. I had a post it note that said how many crystals I had, and I just put that on the store. Now that I'm actually counting it properly, um, I have way more than I thought, and I found a box with more in it. So I have like 60 more of these blue and pink ones. So if anyone out there wants one, they're like, they're all roughly like this size. They're really cute. Uh, I mean, they're all different. I can, I can shine a light on it. I can kind of see it, but uh, it's not going to look so great on the GoPro, but they're real nice. So basically, the store has been sold out for two days. And, and now that I'm actually here, like, packaging, I realize I have more. So, uh, v3rdeye.com, there's still stuff available. That is my bad. I did not realize. <laughs> um, I mean, great for me. It's it's more funding for the next thing, but it means I have to package like a lot more stuff. <sighs> Times it. <laughs> it's quarter to midnight, and I haven't packaged a single thing. Oh boy. Uh, let's time lapse this. <laughs> I just spent another hour <laughs> looking in everything that I own to try and find my mushroom stickers. I found one. I have hundreds of these things somewhere. And I've looked inside every box, every bag that I own. What it's made me realize is I still I still own too much. I'm a minimalist, but I still have a lot of things I've been holding on to. Mostly like old games consoles because I was gonna make an art project with them and I never did it. And just the idea of carrying them around is kind of bothering me. But they're all working consoles and I don't want to just throw them out. They're like, I've got PlayStation 1, 2, Xbox Original and 360 and Xbox One. I've got like all of this stuff. I was gonna make some sort of totem pole with them and like cover them in resin, but I don't know what to do. I, I should probably just get rid of them because I have too much crap. It's not like I ever use any of that stuff. I have a PC now anyway. Um, I'm getting this wrist pain again. I was kind of pushing myself from yoga today. The wrist pain came back in the right hand. It's been an issue for about five months. Just on and off. I was wearing a brace not too long ago. Okay, now it's time lapse time. I just, I wanted to put mushroom stickers in these packages, but I can't find them. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I know you didn't ask for that, but that's what I usually do. But yeah, I just can't find them, and I'm wasting time. Like, it's very late. Yeah, it's 1.30. I just need to get started on this. Okay, time lapse. <laughs> It's like 2.30 and I don't want to stay up any later. I'm not finished. I've still got more to package. But uh, for the most part, I did, I did quite a lot. Um, but I need to edit and go to bed. I can't stay up any later. Just so many things today that slow me down, like looking for, for the stickers for an hour and then trying to fix my printer for two hours. Like that's three hours that I needed so that I don't go to bed so late. <laughs> it's so frustrating. If I had that those three hours, I'd be editing at midnight, which is not too bad. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Um, hit that join button down below if you want to help support. Uh, thank you again to everyone that ordered something. You guys are awesome. We're moving on to phase two. Phase two is buying material and then tie-dyeing. Phase three is move house and hire someone. Phase four, buy land. Phase five, hobbit hole. See you guys tomorrow.